Hello everyone, welcome to Jack Scraps. Thank you for joining me today. I am Jackie and I am here to share my April design team project for Calico Collage. We used a kit called Flittering Gems and I absolutely loved it. The imagery in here was extre extremely beautiful and it was about hummingbirds and so we just don't see enough of those. What I've created is a spiral bound journal and it is approximately five and three eighths wide and eight and a fourth in length. The journal consists of six pocket pages that have tags in them and then there are also six single pages. On the front journal I have cut out the hummingbirds and made them a bit dimensional. I've also added an authentic metal sentiment here from Tim Holtz uh, with some rhinestones. The inside cover allows for writing with the lines. Here's the first pocket page. And here's our first tag. The tags are four inches wide and eight and a fourth inches long. Here's a library card with some tool and fabric and buttons. On the back side, there is a place where you could put a photo and I've put this little piece down here where you could actually just tuck your photo in there without even gluing it in. For right now, I've left this little hummingbird tag. On the back of the pocket page we have a dimensional fly free sentiment. On our first page I created this window with the decorative digital kit image behind it. This is a KNC company um, floral and you flip the window open if you will and on the back is some hummingbird paper. So this way you don't lose any of the writing space. And you can even write on the back of here or add a photo. On the back of that page I've cut out some rhombus um, imagery and added it here as well as the sentiment, small but mighty. Here's our next pocket page. Here's our next tag. With this particular tag, I've added some gems here as well as the Admit One ticket. And I've um, created two places where you could add photos, like a Polaroid photo. And you can either put it on top of the decorative paper here or you can simply take this off because I've put repositional um, adhesive on the back. So you can use this as a template and cutting out your photo and adding your photo here and it will fit exactly into the um, little Polaroid there. On the back side of that I've done some Rama's come out cutouts. Here I've created a little tuck up in the corner and here's one of the tags. On the back side of that page I've created a little side pocket here, added some pom-pom trim here and a, another little tag and added some fabric to the top of that. Here's our next pocket page and in this one I've created a shaker, <laughs> very fun. It says you were born with wings, why prefer to crawl through life by Rumi. On this particular um, shaker, you can actually tuck things behind the flower there. And on the back side, I've left it open. You could add a photo here if you like as well. On this page, I had a bird cage added and made it a flip. So you can write here or add a photo if you like but you don't lose any of the beautiful imagery on this page because I've allowed it to be a flip by adding the cage onto another paper that looks just like this. 
Our next page has a side tuck made from a uh, little tea card of the hummingbird and a little flag. This little journaling card says, let your spirit soar. So you can journal on the back of the page as well as the card. On this pocket page, we have a little pocket that has a tag with some fabric. And here is our tag in the pocket page. This has a um, Velcro opening, small but mighty. So you could add a photo here or just leave it as is and journal here on the top or bottom or even just put a photo over the lines. And on the back side of that is just some of the beautiful imagery from the digital kit. On this particular page, I didn't want to lose any of the writing space, so I had a um, slide, if you will, and it had the word family on it. So I added it here. The image behind it is from the kit. I just cut it down to fit in that slide. Really pretty. Our next page has a side pocket and I just added a little bit more writing space. Our next pocket page. The tag has a um, little pocket with a tag in it from the kit. I've added some fabric here. This is Sari Silks. And on the back here, is another spot for two photos and you can even just tuck them right behind the little hummingbird or up from it, the bottom of it. On this page I've created another flip out so you have plenty of journaling space here as well as a little tuck spot here. You could add a photo or just use this journaling card or put them both there. This page here was just so beautiful, I didn't want to add anything to it, but you could certainly write on it. And this is our last packet page. I've created this dimensional cutout with some rhinestones and glitter glue. And you open this up to a little journal. Again, this is Sari Silks. I've just added a little bit of imagery throughout. Here's a paper clip holding another journaling card. And the back is blank in case you want to add a photo there. Here's the name of the kit that I've added, Flittering Gems. And our last page has a couple flags, a picture of a bird, and a little sentiment. Though she be but little, she is fierce. And underneath that little area is a journaling card. Again, you can have write-in space underneath that. And this is the back page and the back of our cover. Well, that's it, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this month's design team project called Glittering Gems by Calico Collage. Thank you for joining me.